everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video we are going to attempt to rescue our Kerbal from the surface of Tylo. And here we see the Tylo rescue mission sort of getting in line with that lander. Um, I think this will be the orbit that we come down on. So let's hop to it and see what happens. Hopefully we've got enough of everything to make it work and I haven't forgotten something. It seems like the communication line back is on the right side. So that is good. And we still have communication here. So you can see, well, there's multiple lines, but the direct line back is going this way. And of course it's in daylight, so that's important too. Okay, well, we have a staging to do. Uh, this bit is all done except maybe for some RCS. Okay, well then we can use the RCS to help us turn first. Uh, retrograde. Well, all of our fuel seems to be in order. The signal strength 49% though, once we decouple this stage, I wonder what it's gonna be. Well, we're gonna find out momentarily. Okay, just hold on there. Let me flip the camera around. And all right, moment of truth, separation. 27%. Well, we're still good. Okay, now we don't want to use RCS here. Ended up using a little bit of it. Okay, so initial landing burn. Descent initiation burn. That seems fine for now. So the stage time here is 4 minutes and 37 seconds. We're basically in line with the site, so you can't get too much better than that. Let's set that as a target. Okay, and... Yep, that's pretty good. So, 3 minutes... Let's see, there... That's 5 minutes there. We'll split the difference a bit. And we're not going to use all the Delta V, hopefully. Well, it doesn't really matter. We're going to ditch this stage one way or another. Alright, here goes nothing. Let's keep an eye on our track here. It seems a bit further west. So, a little bit this way. I think. Sometimes I forget which way I should be leaning. Okay, that's looking better. Now we need a little bit more time. And I need to lean a little bit more this way. Can we see it? Yeah, we can see it. Sort of wish I had put landing legs on this stage just so that we could save the fuel, but we're gonna have to ditch it soon. The gravity of Tylo is intense. We'll probably want the engines to fire immediately on staging there. Okay, trying to kill Velocity before it kills me. Okay. I think it's time to switch to the lander. Okay, switching. Gear down. A Kerbal has some experience trekking on Tylo. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh. Ah. Okay. A little bit wicked, but safe. Let's get the ladder out. 3066 to make it back into orbit. Let's get the solar panels out. 
Okay, switching vessels. Okay, Kerstead, your right is here. Let's take all the science. Seems like we've got all that. And you better have that Tylo stone. Now we just don't we don't just want to get anywhere. We need to get into a rendezvous with the return pod. So that might take a while actually. Okay. Grab. And we'll have to remember to grab the signs from here too. Board. Okay. Temperature scan, seismic, Tylo Lightstone, it says right there. Okay. Now, where is the return pod? It's there. So, okay. Let me uh, go to the tracking station to time warp. Uh, well, we can wait until daylight over here. It's a little bit of an inclination difference, though. And Tylo Lander Launch is going westward. So we want to go westward. We'll just go straight west, I think. Yep. Surface. And, well, here goes nothing. Do we have a little bit less delta? Oh, right, we're carrying Kirstead. Hmm. <laughs> Extra mass. All right, go. Okay, well, how well are we doing here? 11 degrees. That's not too bad. At least we're not going the wrong way. I think Delta V-wise, the ascent is not too bad. We don't have the atmosphere of Kerbin to deal with or anything like that. Well, I'm trying to get the apoapsis to that descending node right there. Uh, that'll do. That'll be good enough. So that'll be our tangency point, and then we'll try and phase. Oh, right, no maneuver nodes. That's fine-ish. Wow, we're just making orbit, actually. So it wasn't that good. I wonder if we can... risk leaning a bit. Looks like we need to be south. Okay, well, we have a safe periapsis. Let's correct south even more. Hmm... Oh, we're really close to the target's orbit. That's gotta make it hard to phase a bit. I think I'm gonna leave this be. Let's see. Now this is gonna be letting the the return pod catch up to us. But it's ahead, so that's annoying. It's gonna take a while. Since we have a line back on this side and can make a maneuver node, uh, let's. Well, we'll wait until we're closer, but we'll probably try for the rendezvous over there. So here I'm gonna boost up just a little bit. Very briefly. That'll be too much relative velocity right there. I'm gonna bring that down now. Uh, don't go past, don't go past. Uh oh. Let's see, what do we have here? 25. Trying to get a minimum. And uh, nine, nine kilometers. And that's more relative speed than I wanted, but maybe the RCS will help? Okay, well, seriously, how much? Can we get out of the RCS here? Well, it might not be bad. Let's see. Keep an eye on that periapsis to make sure that we don't crash into the surface. Making sure the relative speed keeps going down and the separation keeps going down. Okay, well that's render range and 
the relative speed is within our remaining delta v. So I'll take that. That side is a little bit further away. Okay, we are within render range. And it's going away, so let's stop. Well, that's the end of the fuel. RCS time. Hmm, this sort of thing might not be going fast enough given the orbit of Tylo. Again, it's a problem that the orbit is so tight. I think we'll go over to the Tylo lander launch to try and make something happen. Alright, that's uh, way too much, but let's go on with it. I mean, honestly, this bit doesn't need to happen. We could have just had Kirstead EBA. Having plenty of EVA fuel. All right, and that's what we'll do now. So Kirstead EBA, grab all the science. Yeah, we're not gonna dock or anything, that's bonus okay okay grab and board uh well just don't dump the one that we really need make sure okay tile lightstone is in all right so now can we get back i've lost some delta v because we're carrying two curls now Okay, negative 48 degrees. Kerbin has to be behind us by 48 degrees. So I'm going to go to the tracking station and time warp to that point. I want to find out what happens. Okay, that's about 48-ish. Let's see. So for Tylo, we want Tylo to be on this side, roughly over here, so that we eject out this way back to Kerbin. So, oh, but, but not too fast. Wobbly, 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 wobbly. And so maybe around there, let's see. Probably it's actually around here-ish, but I want to give us some time. We are going this way around. This is complicated. So over here, we'll eject out. And that's going to cost a bundle all on its own. Once we do, we're basically on escape already. Uh, you see, we're sort of on escape over here-ish. Maybe if, it'd be better if we were on... Well, let's just go further. Yeah, it's sort of like that. That's not what we want. But here we are already within Kerbin's orbit, so that's good. It looks like we have enough. In fact... No, then that's just a re-encounter of Tylo or something, or Jewel. So what we want is after a few orbits. Let's see what happens. See, as I wait a few orbits so that Tylo gets over here, the purple line, oh, I guess I can use this thing. So plus orbit. The purple line gets further in line with Jules' orbit, the green line. Well, the timing seems a bit... Okay, we need to wait, wait, wait. I'm willing to spend a little bit more if we get a good encounter. Okay, there's an encounter, and well within our budget, uh, I guess to make sure that we're not crashing into anything. No, that's a clean way out right there. I'm just not doing the mid-course. It would be better if I did a mid-course adjustment, but then we might need to do it eventually. Uh, uh, trying not to do one. Well, it seems like we can get into Kerbin's atmosphere pretty easily like that. It's just 1,212 meters per second. We're probably getting some Tylo help as far as Oberth effect and all. And, yep, yeah, uh, it's in seven hours. So we wait around in orbit for a little bit, and we'll be good to go. Didn't really need that many docking ports. <laughs> uh, plans changed. 
turns out we could have done the rendezvous stuff with this and saved ourselves some worry with the lander pod. But turned out all right. Do you suppose the burn time is reading correctly? This does require some precision. It's not that precise, actually. Because there's so many steps in the way, you know, Talo escape, Jewel escape. So, all right, let's turn to the node. And burn. Off we go, departing Tylo at long last. Okay, that's probably as close as we're going to get there. Let's see what happened. So we're on exit. Going in the right direction. We have an encounter with Kerbin. In 276 days. It doesn't... Oh, it's uh, pretty far off on inclination. I don't know how much is that if we just correct it here. That's uh, doable. Oh yeah, well, just for my convenience, we're going to wait until there and use this 419 meters per second. And 26 kilometers will be my go-to again. All right, back to Kerbin. Okay, the mission is now in Kerbin SOI and awaiting that correction burn. Well, Megan and Kersted look enthusiastic to be back. Okay, that's 26-ish kilometers. Hope oh, that's still enough. About 26 work for pretty much everything, so. Okay. Continuing. Okay, briefly I'll do some manual slowdown just for safety's sake and since we have the Delta V, of course. Okay, we'll leave it there. We're pretty close to just capturing, I think. Well, okay, not that close. We haven't gotten to periapsis yet. But yeah, I think we'll just leave it at that. Okay, and since we're fully on the nighttime side, the service module is useless. All right, off it goes, off it goes. And in we go. Okay, we have heating, service module explosion. Well, we've at least captured, and we should be coming straight down. Yes, indeed we are. Where though? Well, we seem to be over water. I see the coastline there. So, water is good. Mountain is what we want to avoid. Alright, through the th thick of it and... Ablator... Hardly ablated, really. But you never know, it depends on the return opportunity and how much Delta V we had to... Because I used a lot of extra Delta V to soften things up a little bit. Okay, parachute. So it's been a long mission, a perhaps record length mission? I'm not sure, we had a previous dual mission, so maybe it's not the longest mission ever. But uh, sure felt long. And Megan and Kristen are back. Splash down and recover. So 1,384.8 science earned. Um, we weren't too far from the KSC actually. And they are straight up to level 4 now. But how about the contracts? The Tyler Lightstone is here. We have got the Tyler Lightstone. We got Science Day from the surface of Tylo. That's confirmed. And it doesn't seem to have the Val contract left here. I hope that was fulfilled. I don't know. Uh, archives. Um, well, let's see. Any any that are failed? We have no failed contracts. So there there's that going on. That. 
by assume means that we did all the things around Val. Yep, seems like it. Okay, so complete success. And we can just go ahead and unlock some token science. Maybe the ion engines, but I'm probably not going to use them. Let's just get them. Research. Why is this experimental science a large holding tank and a narrow band scanner? I guess the remote guidance unit. Specialized electrics, maybe? Good. Still not sure about these grip pads. Let's go with that. All right, so we've used our science, and we'll see what we do next time. We know we have a lot of Gilly and Ike stuff, so something like that. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.